Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Calendly with Google Calendar. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at Calendly.com or log in to our existing account. Once we are in here at Calendly.com at our workspace, as you can see, we can go and check integrations. Right now we can check if there's a Google Calendar, but sadly it's not. So we will need help of third-party app. Uh, and I've decided to use automate.eo. Uh, I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. And once we are here, yet again, we want to go to integrations and slide down to the bottom left part and see all categories. Now we can address the first app that we want to integrate, which will be Calendly. Right now, it's time for the second one, which is Google Calendar. Straight away, we have a couple of options uh, as popular integrations. Uh, those are already pre-made by Automate. For us but if we won't be able to find the one that we are looking for keep scrolling down so you can create your own integration just remember on the left side underneath the triggers we want to go and we want to start with uh, Calendly so there are two options so let's go with the first one for example on the opposite side underneath the actions we want to go with Google Calendar So we want to pick one option. I'm going with this one just to show you. Now all we have to do is click on Try It Now button. And yet again, we have to log in or register to our automate.io account and we are basically done. At Zapier, uh, we can also use Zapier.com as our second app. We want to go to the top left corner of our screen and click on create tab. We want to start with a trigger and the trigger app, as you probably thought, it's Calendly. We want to pick a manually trigger event. So let's go with this one, for example. Now we have to log into our account at Calendly through Zapier. We hit continue. And now we can test the trigger between Calendly and Zapier. On the second action, as you probably thought, we are going with Google Calendar. We also have to pick an, uh, pick an event manually. And the well, last thing is we have to sign into Google Calendar. And that's about it. So thanks for watching and see you on the next video.